the nets off, took the covers off, just topping up a bit of water. I wanted to show you guys my DIY homemade skimmer. I don't have one on this pond, so what I normally do is get one of these. That's a skimmer. I think that was one of the errors of not doing enough research before we started the build. Because the build wasn't meant to be for koi. What I was planned to do was to just um, get sort of garden water feature. Then that turned it to a goldfish pond. Then I read about the koi. I thought I have to have a bit of koi but the pond wasn't really set up for the koi skimmer wise depth got it right got the angling right but I think we'll probably try and build it up add some windows all in good time I did have a couple of days last week where I did start the planning process, but then I fell back to reality because the outlay is quite big, especially if we're going to do it all over again. And time-wise, it is something which is a bit of a problem because the current lockdown ends. Hopefully by the 12th of April, I've got enough time. I could probably get it done, but it's just the expense in such a short time. And I don't want to make any mistakes in the planning stage again. So I think this done will have to be planned properly and done the right way. I've got a vision in my mind of what I want. I think I can achieve it. Found a few companies that I will be dealing with who have been quite helpful. I don't know if I want to do it myself or if I want to get a builder in get it done we will see so my DIY skimmer let me guys know in the comments what you think about it it's a bit time consuming but it's quite therapeutic I think I don't mind the graft and I think the since the covers have been off the fish are like enjoying it a bit as well Rarely enough, the heat is on, but at the moment it's 13.7 um, uh, because I had to get the temperature down to add the new two koi in, uh, a jiro and a beni kikukuryu. So I've got the temperature down to match with the um, dealer's temperature, simply koi they were running at 10. So I pushed my one down to 11.3, 11.3, 11 11.4 I think it was. Luckily that was a, it was quite a cold day. I think nature helped a lot as well. We've got them in. The whale, free willy looks amazing in this pond. Even the Benny's very nice. Luckily with this pond, uh, it's uh, like an oval, oval shape. So I've got my, the return there and the way I've angled that return is that it'll spin the water all the way around it goes round in a circle so that we get kind of a good flow let's give it a few more minutes Gave it a little hoover as well. That's the hoover that I used, or I'll say. It's alright, it's a good bit of kit that is. I think every koi keeper needs to have one of these just because it gets rid of all that the debris that is in here. I've 
got rid of a lot of it today. So I've topped the water up, try hopefully till my bad here, just to see uh, what the look will be like. gentlemen, boys and girls, the gender neutral, cats and dogs, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the People's Pond Waterfall. Over 5.3 meters long, with a head of around 3.2 meters, with a 15,000 litre per hour pump. Majestic. Came out very nice. Did a little bit of fine tuning. Need to get the flow correct. If one two gaps or the silicon needs to be retouched. Other than that, it is perfect. <laughs> 